greater philosophical gap in Washington today than there has been in a very long time. I think you have to go back to the Civil War to see it. And that is the, the, the fact that the Republican Party has moved to a much more coherent, intellectual, uh, ideological position. And they, yeah, obviously everybody in, in office is looking to start voters, but I, as, as vehemently as I disagree with many of these people, I can tell you they are very sincere. This is what they believe. And I think the root of the issue at this point, um, I, I guess I can sum it up in two words, Humphrey and Hawkins. What you have on the part of the dominant forces in the Republican Party today is a vehement objection to the dual mandate. That's really what's at issue. Um, I think many Republicans do understand that the, the atmospherics of repealing the uh, unemployment part of the mandate would be very bad, but they are opposed to it ideologically and philosophically. Uh, they resent it, and I believe that is at the root of the problem. That's what the objection to quantitative easing is. It is not that they are abusing their mandate, frankly, but that they are carrying it out, and I think that's the issue. 